altered wire art. Let's call it that. And let's get to it. Welcome back to Kate Adventures. Today we are doing this. <laughs> so, I found this guy at Michael's. It's kind of okay, but it has the the wide bits in there. So I'm just going to try and run some wire across that and see what happens. See if it works. Right. We're trying to make a rack so that I can fire some of these. Alright, I apologize because this is kind of shaky, but here we go. So, as you can see, <clears throat> they'd be kind of stacked in like that. And so I'm going to try and just run some of, some of this kind of wire. Um, I believe I believe this was an 18 gauge and just kind of wire wrap it across here and the end bits here should be okay but I might just kind of section it off a little bit too in there because then it would be more functional as a general basket which is what it's supposed to be and I could use it for this so this would be about there so just if you're gonna do something like this for this purpose, just make sure that whatever you're going to stick in there is going to fit. So, I'll say you're going to need some pliers and a wire cutter, or this might just be enough to do the whole thing and not cut it. I don't know. So, we shall see. And carry on with the video. Probably should have put it on that one, but you can just wrap it once it's kind of secured at the base there. So, trying to keep it in frame. Alright, we'll see if this works. You might want to straighten this out before you try and do anything if it's got to continue with this. Um, if you look here, I just kind of wove it through. I mean, I'd probably include some of the hyperlapse in this, but just so you know what I was doing. Um, you want to make sure that you anchor the wire initially to the base and then wrap it over to wherever you want the thing to start if it's something like this and you could wrap it around each one i just did an over under that should probably work we'll see um and then there's this guy that's just uh securing around the spoke and i wrapped it under over back to here and here we are. So because I did like under over under, I'm gonna do the opposite here. It doesn't really have any bearing on anything, it's just aesthetics and in basket weaving that's how you make everything actually stay where you want it. So let's go.
like so far. I like how it's turning out. Uh, and if you just wait for this, it looks like wrapping the wire on one side or the other makes the square smaller or larger. So just something to keep in mind when you're doing it. Um, if you put the two cross wires on the outside of whatever it is, so like here, it would be smaller than if you were going from the inside. Kind of par for the course, but just an observation. Um, that, and if you do decide to do something like this, make sure that you tighten the wires like really well with your pliers um, on each pass going around here. Not just like wrap it and then tie it at the end. Make sure that it's tight um, every time that you're moving it. So let's get on. <laughs> can't see this very well. Um, I just kind of hoped that all the wire would get used up in here because I can't find my wire cutters. But, thing that that is, <laughs> thing that that is not the case, um, until I find them or decide if other parts of this are needed, I'm gonna just wrap it. It's being a pain. I'm gonna just wrap it like that and kind of coil it around here as a, uh, I don't know what to do with this design feature. If you can't figure it out, pulling it. Right. Now, if you're wondering why you're at kind of a weird angle, it's because you're on cleavage cam. Because <laughs> that was the only spot I could stick the camera and have it not be completely wonky. And have you guys actually be able to see what I'm actually doing in here. So, it's not the best, but that is a thing. It can sit flat, and it can sit how I'm going to need it most of the time, and it seems to work. Alright, so project is done for now. Um, if you want to see the thing that I'm going to use it for, let me know in the comments below. Um, subscribe, I post random projects sometimes. And give it a like if you liked it. Alright, have a good one guys.